at a time when Israel Elisa had become the great Magid, the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of the Hasidic form of Judaism. In the town in which he lived, there was a wealthy and very pious Jewish man, although he knew of the Baal Shem Tov, had no truck with this new form of Judaism. But except for two hours when he went to his store where his wife took care of their affairs, he spent his days in the house of learning, studying the Torah and praying. But one day when he went to the house of learning, there were two young men there who were obviously very foreign to that place. They'd spent the night in the synagogue. So the merchant asked these young men, where do you come from? Why are you here? And they responded that they had come from a very far distant place to visit the great Magid. And the merchant thought to himself, here I've been living in this place where this rabbi lives and these young men have come from so far and I've never even bothered to go and see this rabbi. So he thought to himself, it was time. And so he thought he was not going to give up any of his time in prayer or study, but he thought he could give up an hour or so going to his store to visit with this uh, rabbi. And this he did. And when he came into the Megid's presence and saw his shining, pure and radiant countenance, he found himself, you might say, seduced by it. And he began to visit the great Magid quite often, but uh, only during the several hours that he would go to his store, not breaking into his time of prayer or study, although sometimes he would do so, giving up an hour or so of his prayer and study. But over this time, his business diminished until he almost became penurious, penniless. And he wondered why this was, because he counted the time when his business started to go down at, as the moment when he went to visit the Baal Shem Tov. So this perplexed him greatly because he was thinking within himself that he would have brownie points in heaven by going to this wonderful illumined man. So he went to the Baal Shem Tov. And he asked him, why was this? And the Baal Shem Tov said, well, it said in the great and sacred books that if one wants to become spiritual, one goes south. And if one wants to become wealthy, one goes north. But since there is a vast and infinite space between south and north, and there not being possible to make a bridge, how then do we bring these two together? Now the merchant sat and thought for some while but could not find any answer. So he asked 
the Baal Shem Tov. And the Baal Shem Tov said, Well, it is also said in the sacred books that if we become nothing and experience that nothing has no boundaries, is nowhere and everywhere, then north and south no longer exist. Now the merchant, deep, deep in his being, knew the truth of this, and he went off and he began to drop the rigid piety of his studies and his prayers. He became more humble and began to experience the ways of no thing. How does this story have relevance to our exploration into form is emptiness and emptiness is form. The merchant's business began again to flourish and he again became wealthy. What is this story's relevance? To form is emptiness, and emptiness is form.